Hey, my name is Vanessa and this is Vacation Vibes. It all started five years ago when I took a leap of faith to take my very first cruise and five years later, I've been on 14 different cruises and seen so much of the world that I would have never seen otherwise. You should be here. All of this has led up to today when I had the once in a lifetime opportunity to go on a cruise with Virgin Voyages in the Mediterranean. This is the complete seven days aboard Valiant Lady during the Irresistible Med cruise. Join us as we see the world. Welcome back Vacation Vibes besties. The day that we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. It's embarkation day from Barcelona. Wow, I am so excited. This is my 14th cruise and the very first one that didn't come out of the States. So I just was taking it all in, to be honest with you. Like everything was so fresh and new. And from here on out, it's going to be pure adventure. But before we get there, let me tell you about our embarkation. So we got to the port at one o'clock and we were able to board earlier because we have a VIP status for this cruise. Thank you so much to Virgin Voyages for that. Um, with that being said, they did not pay me for my opinions. So they are all mine for this entire cruise series. Um, they were just helping a sister out and I really, really appreciate that. So we got to skip that line that you saw back there and they also couldn't board until 3.30, so whoop. But we got our bands and then it was time to board the ship. And we're off. Okay, so we are headed off to our room, deck 13, 242Z. Thank you. Um, that was easy. It took us about five minutes to go through. Um, and now we're headed to board. Um, the one exciting thing that I really like about um, being VIP slash rock star is you get on way early. Otherwise, our check-in time would have been like 3.15. And that line was long. Already. And the line was already long, and they are not allowed to even check in for another hour and a half. So people oh. are just going to wait. Oh, yeah. I People are just going to wait. So the thing about ch checking in early is that we get to book everything first. So we don't have to worry about missing shows or whatever because we're here first. We just got to compete with the other rock stars. So let's get on the ship. First thing we're going to do is we're going to sit down. We're going to book. I've learned my lesson. Third time's a charm. Christina's first time. What do you think of the ship in person? It's pretty. I like it better than the other one. It's like a giant yacht, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go see it from the inside. Hello, welcome aboard. Yes. Hi. Hello. All right, nice outfit. Thank you. Yes. Work it, work it. Uh huh. Show me what you got. Okay. Show me like it's hot. Your agent, and they're gonna help get you all set up so that way you're ready to voyage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's take on cruising tour. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Hello. Welcome aboard. It's for you. Thank you. Yeah, I too. Okay, Christina is hoping that <laughs> the curtains open when we open this door. All right, I think this is our cruise cabin. Let's do it. Ready? It was already open. All right, didn't do it this time. Again! You. Again! Christina, reaction time? <laughs> you just can't stop smiling. <laughs> it's so cute! Put that there. Give me the hammock! Okay. All right, I think the iPad is ready. So go ahead and you're gonna go to the iPad. I'm gonna let you do it. It's a safety first, but we're gonna watch that later. So go push the little arrow. All right, and then you see where it says cabin curtains at the top? Mm -hmm. Right there, go ahead and click that. Camera's ready now, so <laughs> go ahead and open. Are these cruises? Oh, yeah, shout out to the people on these cruises. Oh, yeah. I don't, are they cruises? I think these might be cargo ships. No, they're not. Maybe they're, maybe they're ferries. I don't know. 
somebody who knows, call them down below. But those are the, you know, the ones we know. MSC, Royal Caribbean, Oasis Class, Somebody Q, and then a uh, Costa Concordia. And Christina is already <laughs> in the like now this hour. hammock, like she sat in it right, which is good, but you can also like expand the size. It, I didn't so, want to put my feet all the way up. Oh. I, I gotta show them though. Wait. So you put it, your feet in like that. Oh yeah. And then you can fully be right. nested and sleep in there. Yeah, hold on. Let me hit. Let me get the head side for oh, you. Oh my god. All right, go ahead and lean back. There we go. Oh, not too nice. oh. oh. now it's nappable. You go from sitable to nappable. This is nice. It's hot though. It is hot. Let's go on back inside. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Look at this. Oh, why is that so? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The lash. Oh, and for the people with lashes, um. <laughs> you don't do. Yeah. Oh my god. This is cute. Very, very cute. Oh, even a little basket. See, this is my type of style anyway. I'm already converting. I ain't been in here but two minutes. <laughs> oh, our person is here. It's at the door. That's our doorbell. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Vanessa Christina. Yes. Yes. Vanessa yes. Christina. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How are you all? Good. 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 How are you? How was your trip? Good. Good. Long week. Oh. Vanessa and Christina. What's this? Oh, they have our names on it. There's no money wrong, but that's okay. I like it better. We're excited to invite you to our members only Sunday. Oh, this is Champagne Place. <laughs> yeah. We encourage your cards and lock your exclusive deck 16. With panoramic ocean views and private hot tubs. Sign me up. Cheers. Okay, sailors at home. Another instance that Virgin is listening. Um, this I have not seen in a cabin yet. It says Ahoy Ship. And then when I open it, it shows deck plans because a lot of you guys have complained that they don't have maps around the ships, which is absolutely true. They don't. They have signs that tell you where things are, but no maps. So you can't really orient yourself. So now they have included maps in your room. So you can just fold this up, put this in your pocket or your purse or whatever. And now you have a, a ship map. So shout out to Virgin for listening. Um, we need to know where to go in the ship. And now we do. All right, guys. So um, we are fully on board now. We have booked we need well we need to finish doing our dinner reservations which i have an update for you in course you, in case you didn't know something um we have already booked all the shows thank god for getting on early nothing was sold out except for like one thing which was like the bungee class on a certain day but we got in the bungee class on another day so you'll see that Jesus. towards the end of <laughs> of this whole series so you gotta wait a few weeks but you'll definitely see it and then um because a lot of you have asked me to about this bungee class i'm gonna do it i'm gonna test it out for you we'll see how fun it is um all the relevant shows are booked now we just gotta um, finish our dinner reservations before the rest of the sailors get on board because it's it's we're, we're hitting three o'clock so we need to do this like right now and then we're gonna go eat so uh Food. yes uh, so far, we've had two or three glasses of champagne. A shout out to um, VIP Rockstar Status. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll have free champagne again for sale away. So I'm not buying no alcohol right nice now. And toasty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, do you guys want a room tour? Because I've done a room tour for Virgin twice now. I've done one for this room already. So do we want to do it again? Okay, fine. I was like, I feel like it's you when you have to. Okay, fine. Rabbit room tour. <laughs> okay, truth be told, I got distracted and completely forgot to actually film the rabbit room tour. <laughs> so I figured, let me just give them the one that I did last time because to be completely honest, it's the exact same room, except for you'll get a little Deja cameo, but she's not on this cruise, but enjoy anyway. Okay guys, it's time for a room tour. All right, starting with the closet. Laundry bag. Do not disturb, come clean. Shelving, more shelves. Wicker basket. Closet. Life jackets, towels, safe, hair dryer. Shelves. 
mirror. Hey. Bed, which we're gonna split. Bedside removable table thing. Decorative pillows. Extra blanket. Bedside table that moves. Extra space. Chair. Deja. Room pad. Turn on. Room pad. Whoa, turn the lights off. Better. Mirror. Desk. Refrigerator. Extra water. Champagne. What's his name? What's his name? Ink. Regular water. Cups for water. Corkscrew. You have to pay for that. Also have to pay for ink. Ombre curtains. Whoa. Balcony. Chair and table. Hammock. Wow. Another chair. The view. Now let's go to our favorite, the bathroom. <laughs> Toilet, towels, makeup towel, spit cups, soap, tissues, mirror with nice lighting, sink, a little bit more storage, shower, a little extra large shower for you know what. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Products, think for yourself, rainfall shower head, and tan hill. Don't point it towards the door. So first of all, I just want to point out that Valiant Lady has turned on the hallway lights. Because before, they were just not on. Uh-oh. Hey, y'all, say hi to Deja. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, girl. Wait, hold on. We miss you. All right. Fun fact. So. All right, all right. Deja wants, to be here. Deja wants to be here so bad. I don't even know how that, like, it just happened to come on when I <laughs> butt dialed her on Instagram. But, um, all right, so my room here is 13242. Um, and they gave us the room number. I was like, that room number sounds so familiar. I'm like, I feel, I'm pretty sure I had it before. If you guys remember my first Virgin Cruise, we had the interior room. If you walk around the corner, my room is right there. Around the corner right here is the interior room. And look at that number. 1320, I mean 13242. To be fair, we were on Scarlet Lady, not Valiant Lady, but that was Deja and I's first cabin on Virgin, and it's across the hall. Full circle moment. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, let's go eat. She's chosen the VIP club section. Of course. Look at the view, y'all. Typically on a cruise, you're going to go to the buffet first to have lunch as soon as you board the ship. Uh, usually the rooms aren't ready and you just go up there with your carry-ons and enjoy lunch. Well, on Virgin Voyages, your room should be ready when you get on and there is no buffet, but there is the galley. And the galley has several different food stations where you do not have to stand and serve yourself. You go have a seat at the table and one of the servers will come take your order and bring the food to you. There are places you can go grab and go if you don't want to wait for that, but it is way more sanitary and luxurious that way. Now, I have another update for dining. I know a lot of people have issues with dining reservations uh, prior to boarding. Well, that's because I was told that they only open 15% of their dining reservations pre-boarding. So once you get on, if you weren't able to book before you got on, go to the dining reservations at Razzle Dazzle or Pink Agave and everything should be completely open to you. Do not stop, do not pass, go and collect $200 get your dining reservations in as soon as you board. And that goes for everything else that requires a reservation. The next stop is Rich's Rooftop for us. And of course, Christina had to try out the trampolines up there. Uh, Rich's Rooftop is a VIP and Rockstar only sun deck. And it is so cute. Everything's white or these iridescent colors. There's plenty of room, it is never full, and it is my favorite place to meet up with the other rock stars and make friends. Five o'clock is when they have happy hour with the Moet, so this is where you could find me every day for an hour. Christina is like fully engaged with this mustard drill video. <laughs> she's been watching it like she's really trying to know what to do if we go you overboard. Know, you never know. <laughs> so new to me, this crazy shit. It's entertaining though. I can't blame her. <laughs> no worries, still. 
We sat up at Rich's rooftop for a while and did make a few friends already, which you'll meet a couple just here, but we headed to the sail away with our new friends to bring in this brand new cruise. Shout out to DJ Leo. Here's our new friends right here, Ken and Irish from Vegas. What's up guys? Um, this happened to be like the same time that the whole Jada book situation came out, but I was like, look at Will and Jada. And then like the next day, Jada was making a full of Will. And anyway, so they were much cooler than Will and Jada, I will say that. <laughs> The whole deck was full of people ready to party. The Happenings crew was hyping the crowd out and we were ready to go. I really enjoy myself at the sail away party. If you didn't know, everybody gets a free glass or two or three or four or five of champagne when you go to the sail away. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Get your free champs. We were about seven glasses in already from Richard's rooftop, but I mean, who's counting? <laughs> this is a great place to meet your happenings crew and some other lifelong friends that you're going to spend the next week with. Yes, come on, Beyonce! Okay, friends. Oh, still always over. That was honestly my third, my third cruiser version, and that's the first time I've actually been there for like the whole sail away. Crazy, right? Like, I'm usually either like doing like lives with you guys, or like I don't know, running around vlogging and stuff. So that was so much fun. <laughs> sail away on Burton's great. Um, I have been noticing as I walk around the ship, even it's only been six months since I was last, or almost seven months since I was last on the ship, they've already made so many changes. Like really shout out to Virgin. I told you guys last time, it's a brand new cruise ship, or, uh, cruise line I should say, and they are listening. And you guys are making the complaints and they are making the things happen. Like just as I walk around, I just see different little stuff that people have been asking for and they're doing it. So good on you Virgin. Um, so Christine and I are going to take the opportunity to maybe unpack a little bit. They have a comedy show, guys! Okay, that was the one complaint I had about Virgin, that they had no comedy shows on their ships. And I'm just like, why? Like, an adult cruise ship needs comedy shows. So, um, we got 30 minutes until the comedy show, so we're going to go get ready for that. Um, I'm going to unpack a little bit. It shouldn't take me long. Um, as you guys know, we're real quick with that. And then, um, yeah, headed down to that show. Um, and it's a black comedian, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> 
I can't wait. So that's what we can look forward to. Something new um, in the series. I just scratched my face all up. Um, <laughs> something new in the in the series. And then tonight we're gonna go to Pink Agave, my favorite place to go. And we're gonna get Christina to drink the. Sorry. <laughs> oh, they're playing Sweet Caroline upstairs. So good, so good. Good night. Do it again. Bum bum. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're gonna get her sooner to drink the quick cricket drink. Huh? Nothing? Don't worry about it. Yes, I'm intoxicated. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Is that what you said? No. Yes, you did. No. Anyway, do you think she she gonna like it? I don't know. But we're gonna, we're gonna make her do it, okay? Huh? Camera gets camera. What's up? <laughs> what you gonna do with your little phone? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> we're in the elevator. No. Do it. Do it. No. Yes. Oh, oh, come on, hurry up. It's about to open. Yeah. <laughs> The lady's laughing at you. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> you want to cruise the vacation vibes? You better be ready in the elevator. <laughs> On out of focus and everything, you better be ready. So a big surprise was the adding of comedy shows on Virgin Voyages. So let's go take a look and see how it goes. I'm so interested to see how this is going to look. We got a table dead center in here. This accent in this face doesn't work for you apparently. <laughs> yes, Virgin. You did it right. Yes to the comedy shows. Now have them every night. Why is, why is it only on the first night? That was great. Good job, Emmanuel. Stand up. Um, glad to see comedy on Virgin. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells good already. It smells good already? I think so. I'm excited for you, honestly. I know. We're going to make her eat the crickets. I'm huh? not eating the bug. Yes. The crickets, y'all. Why is the city on the roof like that? You ready? The lights on. Here we go. Oh, you see like shrimp? <laughs> it's like sunflower seeds. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. See? Not bad. See? Okay. All right. See? You see, people? Y'all thought I was crazy. It really tastes like. I told you they're not that bad. All right. Now your turn. Pumpkin seed, pumpkin yeah. seed. I hear it. I hear it. Mom? <laughs> Mom? Are you sure? Yay! Yay! We're gonna give it This is how you make friends on a cruise. Okay. <laughs> you got a little leaf with it, but. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see? I, I feel so, I feel so. It doesn't taste like a bug. No, no. It doesn't taste like a bug. I feel so validated right now. Thank you. Thank you guys. So here's just a little snippet of everything we ate. To be honest, we were just a little tipsy and enjoying the conversation with our UK friends. So we didn't film much, but we'll be back to show you more. I come from the street corner on the, in Chicago, so. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I, I talked it up too much. Maybe, we'll see.
To be honest, it doesn't be Chicago, but it's good. It's good. I give it like a 8.5. Okay, Chicago, Chicago is 10. I'll take 8.5. Okay, I'll follow me there. Sorry, so good. You're going to get a question Where are we going next? Pajama party. Yay! Let me see your pajamas. True Christina fashion. Crop top. Tell the girls where you got it from because they're going to ask in the comments. Sheen. 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 Yeah. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so I'm wearing the same pajama outfit that I wore last time because I already had another color variation. So I'm doing the all black version this time and I have the same lingerie top at the bottom in case I get hot. Ow, ow, ow. Um, let's go. More drinks. So on the way to the party, I would say first day yes we had a lovely first day we've met so many new friends on board today um i was very excited about doing a mediterranean cruise because i felt like i always make friends on cruises but the opportunity to make friends worldwide is amazing and um we've already made friends with people in london <laughs> the london crowd seems to like the girls so what's up london <laughs> what's up london oh God. L Town. I don't know what y'all call oh, London. No, no, no. It's not L Town. I'm sorry. <laughs> My breads, bra, bra, and it. <laughs> I love you though. Shout out to the Brits. We're going to the pajama party. Let's party. Christina's first time. As some of you might know by now, there is a pajama party on night one of all Virgin Cruises. And you can wear whatever kind of pajamas you want from lingerie all the way to costumes. So this is a must go party. Do your best, take a nap to stay up to 11 to make it to the party. The pajama party is known for having some of the best music you'll hear all cruise. So if you are looking for the party, this is a great way to start off your cruise and enjoy some milk and cookies. There was one addition to this pajama party I hadn't seen before and that was the pajama contest. So make sure you bring the most creative pajamas, the most fun, and you can win yourself a drink while you're there. Yes, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Something. Make some noise for them one more time. 
and the PJ party is where we end the night. Y'all, there is no outro because Christina thought it'd be fun to have shot after shot after shot. And I didn't think it was that fun, but um, yeah, did us right on in. Um, a side note, the comedian, Emmanuel, he's also a new friend, giving very much Terry Crews vibes at all the parties. So shout out to Emmanuel <laughs> for watching this. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves way, way too much and almost didn't make it the next day. But you'll have to watch the next vlog to find out what happened. So I'll see you guys back here next Sunday for more. But here's a little sneak peek of what happens next time. Good morning, best friends. Today we wake up in Toulon, France, and we have some exploring to do. But before we do let me just give you a quick update on how we woke up this morning when i tell you we had a time last night we had a time last night christina got the drunk shades on we're at the galley um we went ahead and grabbed some uh juices this is the orange ginger and carrot juice the ginger is the help with the hangover. It's it's pretty good. Very natural. It's like eight a carat. Um, <laughs> it is 11:55 a.m. Barely morning time anymore, but we're here for breakfast, and then we're going to uh, get ready to leave the ship for the while for a while and go see Toulon, France. Um, from this view, it's already quite nice. So, very excited to go explore France a little bit today and uh, see what else the day brings. Still can't quite believe I'm here, um, but I'm ready to explore. It's been a long time since I've felt a, a super brand new experience on a cruise ship. So, um, being on this side of the world is definitely bringing me back to like my first days on a cruise. And I didn't really know what was going to happen next. Um, I, I missed that. Uh, definitely blessed as I am. I'm kind of spoiled in the Caribbean to know what's going to happen next all the time. So it's nice to have a little, little newness. After a delicious breakfast in the galley, and I can't say it enough, it's good. We went upstairs to get a good view of Toulon from the ship. And then we headed back to the room to get ready for our day of exploration. Okay. And we are officially off the ship. I will say, figuring out how to get out of the port is so confusing. Um, we're in a parking lot and we're gonna get run over. But um, we're still trying to figure out how to like get to the city. So I guess we just walk through the parking lot. It's really weird to be at a cruise port that has a parking lot. I think it's throwing me off. It's weird to get off a ship and not be melting in the sun and it not being a creepy weather actually yeah it's really nice really nice weather i think it's going to be like this every day um and we should cut through here look at these cars what is that what car is this i don't know they're cute though that guy has a line on it so does that one it's called a captain bonjour Francais. It's crazy. I have to brush up on my high school French that I forgot. Toulon is located in Provincial Alps Côte d'Azur, which is in the south of France. And this little town is known for its naval base. So there is a history of military activity here. There's also a mountain that overlooks the coastline. So it is very picturesque and beautiful. It is known for its provincial markets, and if you don't know what that is, just remember the beginning of Beauty and the Beast where uh, Belle is singing through the market? That's a provincial market. And it is so tropical and cute down here. Everybody is so friendly, and the word that I would use to describe this is delightful. There is a stadium located right across the street from the port, and apparently Toulon is known for its really, really good rugby team. So far, Toulon is quite cute. Yeah. It's a really cute little French beach town. Um, 
not quite what you think about when you think of France, no. but cute, cute is what I would go with for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So we have done a little walk around Toulon and ended up over here in the marina. It's a pretty view, it's quiet over here. Um, and then we're gonna just head back to the ship. It's such a cute little town. Um, things to do here. Uh, what I would have done if we would have booked it in time was um, a boat ride to Saint Tropez. That's, that's what I was looking into and it was sold out uh, by the time I was able to book. But um, if you have enough time, lead time, I would recommend that. Based off of what I read, it uh, looks dreamy. It's like a little yacht trip to Saint-Tropez. Um, love that for you if you get to do that. But if you're just here, then, I mean, the shopping looks to be good here. Um, like cheap shopping, nothing like uh, Switzerland yesterday. Or just, you know, enjoy, enjoy being a friend in France for a little while. Um, maybe get some snacks or something but you know what I wouldn't jump off the ship in your bikini or anything uh, it doesn't look like any swimming nearby that you want to do uh, <laughs> it's just a good place to take some pictures so dress cute when you're here great place to take really cute pictures um, yeah really simple spot and if you're one of those people who like, I need some time on the ship, this might be a good port to stay on the ship for. Yeah. Do you wanna see a secret room? Yeah. So like no one knows this room is here. It's very easy to pass. Um, when you see this sign, you don't really assume that it's a place to go. The door is so unassuming, but it's very quiet in here. Um, it's a good place to read, relax. Um, if you are an introvert, you need to decompress from the people. <laughs> you can come in here. Um, there's a door right there that goes straight to the deck. Um, and then another door that goes back into the hallway. So when you're on your Virgin Cruise, see you can, see if you can find the scene too. And again, Virgin has the best collection of weird like chairs. Just why? <laughs> just weird chairs. <laughs> We headed back on board to find food and I thought it was a good idea to introduce Christina to the dock where you can get your Mediterranean fares, which was perfect for our first day in the Med. We just got a sampler of everything on the menu and of course my favorite, favorite drink on board, which is the Golden Horizon and everything was absolutely delicious. After the dock, we headed to our favorite place, Richard's Rooftop. Next stop, snacks drinks, nap time, until happy hour. Peace out. So Christina wants to um, pop the bottle for happy hour at Richard's rooftop. Let's see, let's see if she can do it. Oh, got it. Oh, no, my nails. Wait. Because if you do that, go, go flying. Wait. I will uh, try and I will loosen a little. Oh my god. Oh wait, gosh. there it goes. It's loosening slowly. You need a little. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the video. Free do. <laughs> oh, oh, see? Give her a piece of paper. <laughs> it's going to pop on its own. Though. I can do it without the paper. Though. Okay, <laughs> see? I thought it, it wasn't just me. Tipsy activities. Asking for bottles to pop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Charity. Oh yeah. Yay! <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Mm. Cheers. Hey, just popping up to say, if you are enjoying this vlog, could you please just take a moment to give me a thumbs up? And if you want to see more, please just give Vacation Vibes a try and hit that subscribe button. I super appreciate every single best friend that I make along this journey, including you. Into the misbehavior time. And she's taking so long. Please explain that. Because like, I put on heels and she wouldn't wear heels. Bitches. She didn't warn me. Girls, why do we have to do this to each other? It's okay. You had cute sandals. Let me wear heels. It's okay. We don't have to wear heels together. Come on. Ew. Outfit. Welcome to the Misbehave show. This is one of my favorite shows on board. I love any show where the audience is to interact because if there's one thing about me, I'm gonna go on stage and this is the perfect place for that. So I definitely recommend that you see this show. Let's have fun with that, huh? Woo! Let's dance under the of humanity, yes? yes? Who got one last ride on the roller coaster of shit before the party's over? My God, my God, my God. <laughs> Round of applause for Keith. Yes, that's good. to celebrate a successful win, the entire audience goes into a, a big giant adult dodgeball frenzy. It was so fun and hilarious. People just were just beaming each other with these balls. Like, I'm sorry, are we angry? Are we just letting go of some steam? What's happening? But I just could not stop giggling. Everybody was just having the time of their big adult life. <laughs> The Miss B.A. show is a must-see, must-know. I must didn't know. understand it at first. I'm like, it's another show. <laughs> you won't understand the show until you're in the middle no, of it. Like, but, just, but Christina helped our team win. A part of the yeah. What happened? Great job. <laughs> okay, now we're on our way to the ship show. We're already late, so let's see if we can get a good seed. Mm, welcome to the ship show. This is my second time around at the show. I will tell you that the menu has not changed, but let me give you a good look at the food that we ate. It was all pretty good. I don't have too many complaints around the food, except for a small portion, so you might be hungry after the show a little bit. 
The axe this time around were completely different from the axe that I saw the first time. So let me show you a little bit. So we have a contortionist. This guy doing some sexy stuff with that ladder. The sexy, sexy sailor man, like, please, ladies. This couple who did some crazy stuff with roller skates. And a magician. Two, one, you filthy animal! Hey, oh, guys. The ship show was so much fun. It was much more fun than the first time I went um, on Valiant Lady. I will say um, the food was the exact same. All of the acts were completely different from the last time I was on air. So um, who knows, on your voyage, maybe we'll see those acts. Maybe you won't, depends on how soon. There's always a toilet in the background with these ones. Um, you uh, sail with Valiant Lady, but um, the acts are so fun. So rec I definitely recommend a ship show. The first time I was like, hmm, this time though, absolutely fun. And whoops, ended up on stage again. I don't know how that happened. It just keeps happening to me. It's just so crazy. Shout out Keisha. <laughs> Shout out to Keisha. Rest in peace. Um, they asked if anybody in the audience had animals. And I was like, woo! And he asked how many. And I said two because I'm used to saying two. And then I realized when I said it, I was like, no, I don't. But I, but then he asked if I had a favorite and I was like, well, yes. And I said, Keisha is my favorite. Rest in peace our, to our angel Keisha. We love her. Um, but she got mommy on stage. She got mommy a free drink. So meow, meow. Love you. Um, have fun over the rainbow bridge, darling. Um, but that's it. That's the end of the vlog. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be landing in Italy and we're going to see a historic a historic place tomorrow you don't want to miss it maybe i'll even do a scientific experiment while i'm there that's your hint see you guys later let's see what's gonna happen next time okay wait a minute i couldn't let this vlog in yet because you guys are amazing and you've got me past 17,000 subscribers so as a thank you i'm gonna give you some bonus footage us at the club which is gonna lead you to a second drum cam and one vlog guys we had a time at the club oh my goodness the DJs have improved if you ask me there are still lots of room for improvement as far as the music is, is concerned however for most of the nights we were able to go somewhere shake our arms drink have a good time and continue to make more friends and hang out with the ones that we have already met Big night at the club for you girls.
to the right. Sorry. <laughs> to vacation vibes. Maybe it's morning where you are. It's morning where I am. It's early morning and Christina and I are in Pisa. So I told you yesterday we'll be going somewhere super historical. So I'm going to take you along with us as we tour this cute little city in Tuscany. Well, as the title and the thumbnail of this video has probably already spoiled, we are in Pisa, Italy. And we are here to see the one thing that there is to see in this small Tuscan town. We booked this excursion through Virgin and it came with a tour guide and all access tickets to everything inside. Beyond these walls is the great Leaning Tower of Pisa, as well as the Basilica and the Cathedral. The tour guide gave us time to take pictures, look around, and then we're gonna meet up to go to the top. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah. It's like we're here. I know I'm here. <laughs> it still doesn't feel real though. It's yeah. Yeah, half the fun of being here is watching everybody else do the Leaning oh, Tower yeah. Pisa picture. Um, and then knowing that you are going to have to also be that person. It's just, I think it's just a part of like the global fun of being here is we're all about to look like idiots together. So. Please turn the camera. Yep. Turn your body more towards me. Yep. Ready? This is crazy. Can you take for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, but come closer. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so we just finished our pictures. We're going to put some of our favorites up on the screen. And comment down below what kind of pose you would do if you were here. Um, and I wonder if it would work. Yeah. Because we're sweating. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Um, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad we, we dress comfy. Yeah. Oh dress my god, that blue outfit that I wore. I was going to oh, wear like this glowy blue. It would have been cute. It would have been cute. It would have been a lot. Yes. It's kind of amazing how pictures and videos just do not do the Leaning Tower any justice. In person, it is almost alarming how much is leaning and it's very very hard to get the same amount of lean in pictures and it's also really hard to orient yourself looking through a viewfinder because you kind of want to tip your camera to make it straight okay so just to know if you're visiting um the tower in particular you can't bring bags you can have like a little like fanny pack but you can't have like a big bag book bag anything like that so you have to put it in a locker um I'm not sure how much it costs because I think our guide had a pass for us. But yes, just be prepared to, to give up your bag and have it put in a locker. So next step is 294 steps to the top of the tower. Something to note about walking inside of the tower is that everything inside is also leaning. So for instance, when you go up the stairs, you'll notice that there are grooves on only one side of the step. And that indicates which side of the tower you're on. If the stairs are grooved on the left, then you're on the most leaning side of the tower. And if the grooves are on the right, then you're on the opposite side of the lean. Vanessa has almost fallen like five times today. <laughs> you also are going to feel like a little bit drunk because your equilibrium is off. 
gravity is pulling you in opposite direction than you want to go in and you kind of feel like you've just lost control of yourself a little bit but you should just focus on the person in front of you and don't fall in case you didn't know the reason why the tower leans is because the soil that it was built on is very very soft in fact all of the soil in pisa is soft so there are many buildings here that actually have a little lean to it on top of that the material they use for the tower is solid marble probably from the carrera mountains and marble is very very heavy no one knows who originally started building the tower because once he realized it was starting to lean before he ever finished it he ran out of town and never came back somebody else came in to finish his work and made one of the most famous buildings in the whole world Our next stop was the beautiful cathedral, which the Leaning Tower of Pisa is actually a bell tower for. This cathedral is still in service to this day. They have church every Sunday, and that is the one day that you cannot come to visit. Everything in here was made impeccably. Every detail was beautiful, and there's nothing quite like being in a building that you know has been there for many, many centuries and still holds its beauty. First thing I got Hello. these uh, Italian chips that are tomato flavored. You gotta try something new every time. I like it. It's like, like you said, it's like a fried dipped in ketchup, yeah. but it's not squishy. <laughs> Crispy fries. Crispy fries. Okay. I need that sign on here. On our way back to La Spezia, we did pass by the Carrera Mountains, which are mountains made of solid marble. So all of the Italian marble around the world comes right here from these mountains. Isn't that kind of cool? Once we got back on board, we headed right for the pizza place, took a quick nap, and then headed to happy hour. Wow. Um, all right, so we did the things, and, and now we have 30 minutes to dinner. Um, Christina's currently in the shower, so I'm gonna wait for her to get out of the shower before I get ready for dinner. Um, but while she's doing that, I just want to like kind of recap our, our situation so far. Um, this morning was really beautiful in Pisa. You guys saw it. Um, that is a experience I'll never forget in my life. And I think oh, I'm gonna get I'm getting teary eyed already. Um, I just feel so thankful for this experience with Virgin coming across the world and experiencing different cultures that I've never experienced before. One, two things that I never thought I'd be able to do at this point in my life. Not this month, not after everything that's been going on. Like, honestly, I would have never been able to do this on my own. I would have never thought about it at all. I'm just very happy to be here. Um, there was a point in the cathedral where you could sit in there. Um, there's a, a special section for prayers and meditation. I'm not, I'm not Catholic, so I just kind of felt weird. I don't know, but um, there was an opportunity you could take to um, sit in that section and take a candle and just like pray and, and meditate and have a spiritual moment amongst all of the tourism and everything going on around you. But silently to myself, I had a moment of gratitude, a moment of thanks um, to God for <sighs> just letting me know that No matter what you go through in life, no matter how hard you try to fight things, no matter how unfair things feel to you, how hard they feel, how impossible 
situations might feel to you God's got you when things are out of your control that just means that somebody else is taking control for you and you just have to trust that it's going to be okay And you'll be able to do things that you've never done for yourself. You'll be able to live experiences that you never dreamed of for yourself. You just have to believe that things will happen in perfect timing. And, uh, and if you're watching this and you're searching and you're hurting and you feel like this might be my last straw, this is your sign. To just hold on so oh the magic of travel and and the things that it can do for your life um, it's it's truly magical thank you La Spezia Italy thank you Pisa um, thank you Virgin for um, allowing me to have these experience for myself um, we're gonna get ready for dinner uh, Christine's out the shower so um, I'll see you at Extra Virgin. I just want to point out that little guy there has been working hard to stack all of these. So cool to watch how they like pick them up and stack them, but that guy, he has been on it today. <laughs> on the way to dinner at uh, Extra Virgin, I thought having Italian in Italy is like top tier. So of course, we're gonna have to have Italian tonight. Um, I needed an extra few mo moments to get dressed. <laughs> so Christina is already there. Um, our reservation pretty much ended like five minutes ago. So I am on the way. Coming! Now I do have to say, after my third time on Virgin, I think that Extra Virgin is in my top restaurants of all time on Virgin Voyages. This one is definitely a sleeper hit. All right, Christina asked me what you order here. Starting with the antipasti. This is me. Beef carpaccio, calamari, meatballs. You can't miss with those. Affettati misti. Um, listen, just go ahead and get the charcuterie board. Period done. Into secondo, uh, the sea bass is, is, is calling my name. So um, I think tonight I'm gonna do the sea bass. Um, New York strip as well, if you, if you missed the steak and picagave. Um, they also have a chicken, they have a pork cheek, they have um, a, a, a vegetarian, we don't worry about that. We only have three courses. The first is antipasto, which is appetizer. Appetati misti is only optional, but that is the charcuterie board. You can have it together with your appetizer. Pasta and secondo, they are both main course, so you can choose either. But if you want to try both, you can do, for example, secondo individually and maybe some pasta to share in the middle, or you can have also your pasta separately and we can make it half portion for you. Okay? And then the last one will be the dessert. So you see what she said, don't worry about this section, just get the charcuterie board. I would never say you're wrong. With the pasta, you've heard me say it a million times. Oxtail aglanotti, up in here. Black people, hello, come to the chat. We're talking, this is just family talk. Oxtail aglanotti. You know what the business is when we talk about oxtail at the Jamaican spot. Don't waste your time. Get that. I don't care if it's a half portion or full portion. Make sure you put your mouth on some oxtail aglanotti while you're here. And that's it. That's all I got. Whatever. All the pasta is freshly made here. It's really good. But if you're here... Okay, I said it enough. All right, you heard the lady. Oxtail pasta for the win. <laughs> but quite honestly, every single thing that I eat here, I thoroughly enjoy. The pasta is fresh. All the ingredients go well together. It is not the predictable Italian fare that you would have at most Italian restaurants. So do not skip and do not overlook Extra Virgin on your next cruise.
I just want y'all to see how packed this pasta is with this um, oxtail. They are not skimping on you. The pasta is thin and the oxtail is thick. Oh, and then we, look at that, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> But anyhow, let's, let's, let's bring this back into focus, shall we? Full of oxtail. Okay, Vanessa, I think that's enough. I think the people get it. <laughs> Anyways, after our main courses, it was time for dessert. And this time I grabbed the gelato, which they make table side. And they add a little coffee for a razzle dazzle. And it is delicious. I really love this show and I've told you guys before that there is no real way to explain it to you. So this time I'm just going to try to capture the randomness that is the show without giving it away too much. So with that being said, let's start from the beginning. Others disappear into corners, including a person who is nervous to be here. Someone who is clearly on something. An intimidating dancer peacocking across the floor. And two people who can't keep their hands off each other. Why did they come here? And finally, the grand chair of the dance floor. The older person who yeah! doesn't give a fuck. Because this is their fucking vacation. So part of me hopes that you understood maybe what goes on in there and then part of me hopes that you still don't so that it is a fresh and brand new experience for you when you go to the show. Well, after the show, we kept the vibes very much alive and went to the club. Found out that the club was not clubbing for us and we decided to make our own party at On The Rocks. <laughs> That's it for our night. Let's see what happens tomorrow. All right, good morning. Welcome back to Vacation Vibes. We are at sea today. The one city we have 
in our entire um, itinerary. So we're gonna start the day off here at Razzle Dazzle. As you guys know, came here for dinner. It was okay, but was very curious about brunch. I've missed brunch twice now because I can't wake up. So third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, and then I'm also here with somebody who likes to eat vegan. Surprise, surprise. So, we'll see how she feels about the menu here. She was very excited about this restaurant because it caters to her needs. So, the plan for today is a brunch here and then a little later on we're going to head to the shot for shot class which is my favorite class this time i was able to get two tickets for christina and our boat and then later on today we'll be at the test kitchen for dinner so we'll be back in the test kitchen and then we have um dual reality which you guys have seen me go you guys know how i feel about it I'm not really gonna say much to Christina about how it is. She's at the bathroom right now, so she's not listening to this conversation. Um, I'm not gonna tell her anything about the reality. I'm just gonna let it go. Um, I did the same thing last night with the um, Untitled Dance Party show thing, and I think that's just the best way to enjoy most of the shows here. Um, in between that, I don't know, maybe get some sun, relax a little bit today, take some pictures, I don't know. Yeah, put my feet up. Because my feet hurt. We have been at it for the past several days. So, uh, yeah. Here's to relaxing and enjoying some time on the ship. Avocado yes. See, and that's what I didn't want. If we would have came to dinner, I feel like we would have been like, confused the whole time. Um, so, Christina got the mushroom tartare. It stinks. <laughs> It's so it's very strong smelling. Um, Would I order to get like outside of being here? Absolutely not. Can I eat it? Yeah. It just it looks really nasty. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even. I don't think I can eat smelling that right now. Yikes. Maybe you don't, maybe, yeah, let's, maybe, unless you just love tuna tartare, maybe just like skip that one. To be honest, we actually really enjoyed our breakfast at Razzle Dazzle. The tuna tartare was a wild way to get started, but everything else was pretty good. After that, we went over and checked out the red bar in Razzle Dazzle, took some pictures, and then headed out to the drag show. The drag show aboard Virgin Voyages is called 80 Minutes Around the World with the Diva, and the Diva is the queen, Gila Moonstar, and she was so fun and very talented. We had a great 80 minutes with her, and as you'll get to see, she did do some games with us. She sang, she danced, and I even got to participate a little bit. Articulation, communication, and how good you can... All right, now... What is the secret to world peace? Alcohol. Alcohol! Why did no one tell me that we were at the beach club at Bimini this whole time? <laughs> What did you think of the drag show? I liked it. <laughs> she was a vibe. She was funny. And like, even though a lot of people weren't participating, she still kept it going. Mm -hmm. Makeup on point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she was good. Yeah, so fun. I enjoyed that uh, a lot. So, okay, we're headed to the test kitchen now. 
to go participate in shot for shot. I'm excited about this one. Oh yeah, time to drink. Now we're off to my favorite class, Shot for Shot. This is a must-do class on Virgin Voyages. Definitely one of my favorites. At Shot for Shot, they teach you how to make some of their signature cocktails, as well how to do amazing photography of those cocktails, because we live in an age where we have to show off our good stuff. That is going to be so juicy. So we're gonna take a shot of that. We're gonna count down three, two, one. We're all gonna yell, Gun, 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 Nice. What do we think? Yes. Another one. Another one. Yeah, so soju, it's a Korean uh, alcohol. It's a Korean spirit. Similar, it's almost a cousin to vodka. It's very neutral in its flavor. It's not too bitter, but it's, there's not really much of a flavor there. They teach you some of the really cool techniques that they use to make the prettiest cocktails on board, do a little bit of trivia with you, and show you around the test kitchen so you can find a spot to take cool pictures. Put that garnish on there. So, uh, face it towards you, place your left thumb on top, and then grab it from the bottom with two fingers. Take a good grip on the side so you don't to drop it and then just start shaking. So I go face the gap towards the knee and then slap on the side right here 45 degrees angle. Slap it here. Yeah, but you need to hold it. Hold it tight and slap it like this with your palm. Yeah, but you need to keep yeah. Do you think I want to hold it? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, there you go. Beautiful. You got it? Yes! <laughs> Let's see how Christine and I's photography came out. And lastly, here is a sped up process on how to make an old fashioned the virgin way. No! We forgot about this! Not in this Come dress! On. I can't work in this hey. dress! friends let's end the night at the test kitchen a place that is not for the picky eater okay well welcome back to the test kitchen third time here and luckily they are serving my favorite menu which is menu a tonight so I'm not gonna go super in-depth if you want to see um, my first time reaction on this menu I'm gonna link the video the first time I'm being here there if there's anything different I'll be sure to kind of loop you guys in and let you know but I'm gonna start with my palate cleanser drink and um, I'll let you know if we can just to remind the server about your allergy just tell, tell the yeah. person yes of course thank you um, for those of you guys who don't know, I don't eat um, coconut or almond, so there's some variations there, but uh, Christina doesn't have these allergies or sensitivities, so you'll see what the uh, actual fare is, um, and she will also have some other kind of variations because of the stuff that she doesn't eat, so I'll sh uh, like I said, I'll show you guys what's different this time, um, but other than that, 
Bon Appetit. I'm gonna enjoy my time at the Hi. <laughs> um, so thoughts on this mushroom? It came and I said, what the fuck? Um, after, yeah. After this morning <laughs> and the smell and the mushroomness of the mushroom, um, we shall see. This is pretty on. I really don't know about this. I'm excited, but I'm also. Hmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cartoon mushroom wins again. Okay, so we're finishing up the mushroom course. I love the toast that comes with it. So we asked for more. Tearing it up, scraping out the flavor. Yep, mine is completely gone. The mushroom is really good. Now I'm asking Christina if she can guess what the egg is gonna be like. What's your what's your final guess? Um, I was telling her I was going back and forth between neither it's gonna look like an egg and not be an egg, or it's gonna be like different variations of an egg and like make it work together. Um, I'm gonna go with the second one. So it's gonna be different variations of an egg and somehow it's gonna all come together. Okay. It's gonna be a thing. I think the egg is gonna take you for, by surprise as well. Oh shit. <laughs> I hate peas. <laughs> so okay. So the thing that you should know, if you're unfamiliar with the test kitchen, is they use gastronomy um, in the kitchen. So they put different foods that interact with each other on a molecular level. So it might change the flavor profile when certain foods are put together because they interact with each other True. differently than what you would usually pair food with. So. If something looks like it might be too sweet, you might try it and it might be actually very bitter or very savory, all because of the different ingredients that the chef chose to put together. So it's actually a very smart concept. Um, so that egg, as raw as it looks, might not taste like a raw egg. And we'll find out here shortly. So you said take a piece of bread. And then you gotta mix the egg and the piece together. Oh my god, okay. It's so weird. I don't like it. Okay. And make sure the caviar is in there too. Oh I'm really nervous, honestly. I hate these. Okay. No. That is our very is This is crazy. It don't taste like egg, it don't taste like peas, but it tastes good, mixed together. Oh. Okay. So if I have pizza, I gotta mix the raw egg with it and caviar. Got it. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Just get some caviar. Yeah. I ain't got money like that. That's crazy. No. I know. I know. Who knew? I hate peas and a raw egg just sounds nasty. Oh yeah, no. Raw egg, raw egg is where you lose me. It's that, crazy. My, my brain is not. Your taste buds are always on point. Cause it's like if I was in a restaurant outside of this, knowing what it is, and somebody served me a raw egg with peas, I'd be like, "Excuse me, take it back." Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. All right. And so that's the gist of the test kitchen. Um, I'm going to show you the rest of the meals that we're going to have. I'm not going to give them away. We'll do a full recap after I show you everything, and then um, you can decide. Once again, this is menu A. So if you're on your cruise, if you book. I'm a seven-day cruise. Book the first four nights for menu A, the last three nights for menu B. I was told that today. That's how you kind of know which menu you're going to get. 
So just so you know, friends, it is worth mentioning that while the menu is not very expansive at the test kitchen, they do have multiple substitutions for food. So if you do not eat meat, or dairy or you have allergens they will give you a substitute or something that has something left out so we had a few different plates that were a little different from what you might be used to seeing between the two of our dietary needs It is day five, five, four, five. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> we're in Ajaccio, France. Uh, let me show you where we, we leave. We're just gonna go to breakfast. We haven't had a proper breakfast this entire cruise because yeah, it's, it's, it's well, my home yeah, we just, we've had brunches because we, we cannot uh we can't wake up on time. <laughs> no, we can't. Oh, go to bed before one a.m. Yeah, sad times. Um, it's really cute out here. Is that a beach? <laughs> that sounds like maybe. We are craving a beach. Mm -hmm. I just want some sand underneath my toes and some water. However, I know the water is going to be bone chilling Crazy. cold <laughs> just because it's just a little chilly. Uh, I have a sweater on. Um, a vacation vibe sweater so um, I will say yeah <laughs> definitely this is a great thing to bring on this cruise because there has been some chilly moments with her French toast sandwich yeah you gotta put the top on there we go oh no let's put it down that is my favorite it comes with some mixed berries the syrup and the powdered sugar Let's see, they got TRX and a rack. They got plates. Wow, I've never seen plates on a cruise. Okay, you can get it in and here. Battle robes. We got the gloves, sand balls. Got the uh, boxes here. Some lines on the floor, maybe for some ladders. I love this cute little tiny track. I mean, you're not going anywhere fast, but that's cute. Kettlebells, there's roller. You got the medicine balls. Oh, good. Yes, they have. Yes, they have all the good stuff in here. A good gym. This is the only gym I haven't been in on the sh ship because it's like easy to miss. Um, but I knew it was here, so shout out to that. Shout out to the functional training um, space, the training camp, and it's right out inside from the little boxing area there. Celebrity Edge is next door. After our gym tour, we went to the top deck to check out our surroundings and get some fresh air. Say hello to the Celebrity Edge as I got a closer peek at what goes on on their ship. And it is a beautiful ship, so definitely want to check out that Edge class. Welcome to Ajaccio, France. The advice we were given was to take a quick five minute walk to the left of the port to find a free beach. And I have to tell you, this did not disappoint. We weren't sure if we were gonna find the beach that we needed, but we most certainly did. This little island town is so beautiful and is the epitome of Mediterranean living. The water, oh, the water is gorgeous. The sights are gorgeous. There's nothing I love more than a beach that is right next to hills and mountain terrain. Oh, this was the tropical feel that Christine and I were craving so much during our trip. It is so beautiful here. The water is crisp. It feels really nice, especially for our sore legs to just yeah. get in some cool water. Um, it is 
uh, clothing optional here, it, it seems to be. I don't know for sure, but like I'm puzzle. going to, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to vlog a whole lot. I'm trying to like be discreet <laughs> and that's why everything's blurred out in the background just oh. in case. <laughs> so it's going to look very cinematic here, but um, yeah, we're just getting pictures. Um, it's beautiful. The water is so clear. There's fish. It smells fresh. Did oh. tried to bite Vanessa? They did not. She's scared of the fish. It's like Deja. I am not. They live here. I'm, I've never seen anybody dragged away by fish. Um, yeah. So just enjoy the scenery here in Ajaccio. This is Corsica. As I pointed out, this is a clothing optional beach, which if this is new for you, it might be a little strange, a little weird, but it's very normal in Europe. So just make sure you don't stare. We spent about three and a half hours here and just got all the relaxation we needed. Kids over here are so cute, like playing games together. They had the jump rope. You remember you used to spin it and like the little like and you jump gotta over hop. Here. Yeah, that is so little girls right? Spin it and like, like jump over. Y'all look at this um tree. This palm tree missing its palms. It looks like a um we'll let the people decide what it looks like. I just want to say hello to all of the new best friends who are watching the channel now. There has been so many of you lately and I just want to invite you to make it official. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to be an official best friend today and I will see you at scene very soon. I just run out and never know where I'm running is the problem. I just run. <laughs> I have threatened a couple of um, best friends on board that if I catch them in the elevator, they know what time it is. All of a sudden, hey, they're hiding. Down, not me. All of a sudden, they're hiding. Come on out. Come on, get an elevator to work. Where's Gigi? I'm fine, Gigi. I'm gonna catch her in the elevator. After a little rest, we found ourselves at Gun Bay for the night. This is one of my favorite restaurants. It's Korean barbecue. It's so delicious and a lot of fun. We started off the night with our new friends here at the table with the world's fastest game of 369. Y'all, we sucked so bad. Never start after you've had your first drink. Four, five, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, so one two three four five now you pick a number you are out of the game okay you pick a number to start any number to start. 28 29 no. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. What number are we?
And of course, the food was delicious. For more on that, check out my last two vlogs with Virgin. After Gun Bay, it was now time to go celebrate Scarlet Night as we always do every sailing with Virgin Voyages. I met up with some of the cast that I became friends with and followed them around the ship to go check out everything that was happening. And then it led us upstairs to the pool where the main event happens. And I'm just gonna let you sit back, relax, and enjoy the sight sounds and experiences of Scarlet Night. Let me introduce you to one of our friends that we enjoyed for this entire cruise. His name is Wayne, and this was his 17th cruise with Virgin Voyages. We kept calling him the RuPaul of Virgin. He was fantastic, him and his husband, Russell.
puts the scene in mugs with the fun fun Someone's got the drunk and I bust them in the eye And then I'll take a pump, stop the feeling Funk it, hands in the drunk and I got no rhymes in this box Set a drunk, keep going, let's try to show my fire Good afternoon, besties. It's like full the afternoon um, on the day that we get into a visa. We don't pull in until 7.30, I think, tonight. So we're still out to see. Uh, we're, last night we had time. And we had so much of a time that it took your girl out. Christina, she's out the paint. We're trying to get her better before we land in Ibiza though, so that we can all have a good time tonight. I'm headed downstairs to get her some meds and you know, ginger ale, whatever like works to um, help somebody feel better. I think that little jump in the pool and not changing clothes after might have something to do with it. It never gets old getting into the uh, aquarium here. This is the start of the day. By the way, do you like my like my shirt? You know where you can find it? Anyhow, anyhow, okay. Let's get her some meds and some food and see if we can nurse her back to health. Um, beyond that, we had sheets delivered to the room. Uh, we missed our reservations today. We missed our reservation for the 90s VHS workout for the wake. Just terrible, terrible start to the day. But we're gonna we're gonna make it better. Um, Mon High Street. Let's see if we can find her some meds. The meds were secured from the store on High Street, and then we had Ship Eats waiting for us at the room when I got back. Ship Eats is room service here on Virgin for a small fee of, I believe, $7. You are able to order whatever you want. So I got steak and eggs. Uh, Christina got some chicken noodle soup and a couple other things to see if it will hold down her stomach. After Ship Eats, I took a moment to go up to Ridge's rooftop and take in the views of us pulling into Ibiza. I'm sorry, do y'all hear them turn to the max? Look at them, having a great time. You better. Oh yeah, this is Ibiza. As I stated earlier, we started this vlog today in the evening and it is already seven o'clock, time for dinner. We took ourselves back to a favorite pink agave and we had dinner with our friends, Ken and Irish, as we were ready to begin the pregame for Ibiza. I wanted to give you a closer look at some of my favorite dishes. Um, the elote, the guacamole, the aqua chile, AKA tuna, my favorite appetizers at Pink Agave. And then I also tried the pork out and it was amazing. It's important to get a nice full stomach for the adventures ahead. Very nice. Thank you. And a matching. Have a green on for Ibiza. Yeah. <laughs> Ibiza! And it's not even started. Yeah. It's fine. Yes, this is I Love Fiesta. <laughs> This is the crew for tonight. What's going on? Yes. We got Irish and Ken. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Christina. Alan. Go. <laughs> Nothing. Wait. Bus shuttles. Okay. So why we're here because they don't like it when we say So why do they say that like instead of pink? Okay, so 
when you pour in Ibiza, you're gonna take a shuttle into the city center, and then from there, you're on your own to go find whatever club. So tonight, we're gonna be going to Club Chinwa. Um, <laughs> Chin, it's, it's spelled Chinwa. Anyways, we're going there to party. Um, apparently, the whole ship will be there, so we'll be in good company. Um, this is the end of the season here in Ibiza. So this would be the last night of the club, so it should really go down. Unfortunately, Calvin Harris and David Guetta ended their sets last so weekend. So sad. So we had to reschedule our, we were set to go see Calvin tonight. I was very excited, but it is what it is. So tonight we're just gonna party it up in Ibiza and maybe next year we'll catch the DJ sets. But yes, we have our group, our people. Hi, yes. What's up? What's up? And hey, party people. And this is, and I do, I do think you should travel in groups for this because it is the yeah. middle of the night in a fresh country. So, you know, it'd probably be safe that way. Then in 15 feet, take a ride on Passy de Joan Carles I. I told you, the whole ship is here. The whole ship is coming to party. All together. Because <laughs> we're going. Okay, best friends, let me give you all the details of this club. Club Chino, Chinwa, whatever it is. It costs $60 USD for us to get in. We didn't need a reservation. There is a... Uh, reservation line don't know how much that costs don't know what the perks that get you um there is a section in the club that is a little elevated but to be honest it didn't seem to be any more fun than any other place in the club it does get extremely packed in there the club opened at 12 midnight and it was packed within 30 minutes of it being open there was a section upstairs that was like an open air bar it was very cute very pretty um so it gave you another option to get drinks because the bars there were three bars that i know of in there and it took a while to be able to get a drink so my advice is to get your drink first um when you get to the club early uh and and maybe just be prepared to not go back to the bar to be honest uh so make sure you get what you need the music in ibiza is very european synthesized um i would say house music is probably more fun to most people than this type of music but perhaps if you're on drugs it's okay i would recommend going during the season where you you can go to your popular DJ sets. Um, that way you probably will recognize most of the music that is being played because we did not recognize much of it on this night. The night ended for Christina around 2.30. Her poor body just could not take it um, as long as I could and mine's lasted until about 4.30. We headed back to the ship to get a nap before spa day. Lord, ran through. Good morning. It's a uh, spa day, so we are headed downstairs to get rejuvenated and a little redemption after last night's festivities. Um, so we're gonna do that. Then we'll get some food, and then um, we we'll go find a beach. Ooh, the redemption spa, y'all. This spa is the most beautiful spa I have ever seen at sea. And I wanna give you the tea on how to get this place empty like Chrissy and I did. Before we get there, let me tell you about the different rooms. This is the mud room, that's where you go. You can put the mud all over your skin and your face. This is the hidden pool that nobody knows about on the ship. These are the marble slabs which are heated which makes for a beautiful nap time because nap time in your 30s is key. This is your dry sauna. Everybody knows the dry sauna. And you actually have the water in there to create a little bit of steam and to be able to regulate the temperature in there yourselves. You have hot and cold tubs. This room here is the Himalayan salt room. And guys, 
if you have sinus issues, if you just need to clear things up, if you need to detox this salt in this room, which comes out of a little hole in the ceiling, is going to get you right. There are a couple more things you can do in here, and I'm just going to take you along with us as we spend the next few hours here. So we did steam, we did salt, now we're going to give ourselves a little shock and do pool. Or you want to do cold tub? Do cold. cold tub? Alright, let's do it. What do we? I gotta stay for at least a minute. Oh. It was really cold. Oh. I don't remember it being this cold. Vanessa. <laughs> oh. Was, was Deja tripping? Mm-mm. Okay, you, you got 30 seconds left for a minute. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> If you can see goosebumps through water, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. It's starting to... It's starting to numb. <laughs> numb a little bit, yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's much colder than I remember last time. <laughs> What's good after this is the sauna. Dry sauna. <gasps> okay, I'm officially numb in my legs. <laughs> oh, I'm still not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're good. You need a minute. It's uh it's therapy. <laughs> the shaking your hand cold, is shaking. The cold plunge therapy. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the hot tub. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Good night. <laughs> Ugh. I feel like pins and needles in my legs. After. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my legs are like, ay, 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 ay. My toe. Oh, wait, now I feel it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> pins like, and needles. Oh. <laughs> I recommend booking the redemption spot on a port day versus a sea day because number one, the price is a little cheaper, about $10 a person cheaper. And number two, you're most likely to have an empty spa that way. All right, next up we post up in here, dry off a little bit, and um, then it's nap time on the marble slabs, which are heated, so yeah, it's supposed to be a good nap. So carve out some time while you're in port to indulge for three hours, and trust me, that's more than enough time at the Redemption Spa. So we have been informed that there is a taco out there that needs to be ate, and it's the fried avocado taco. Yeah, so let's take a look. <laughs> Fried avocado there. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Nobody can pose and take a nice picture on this at all. You have to really want it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to really want it. Insert a clip of me and the girls trying to take a picture for my birthday. <laughs> We had only a couple of hours left in Ibiza, so I decided to make my way to Talamanca Beach, which was within walking distance of the port. It took about 15 minutes to get there, and it was definitely a scenic route. It was interesting to see Ibiza in the daytime because I'd never seen it before. And the way I would describe Ibiza would be if Mexico and Miami had a baby and that baby grew up and moved to Europe, you got Ibiza. That is exactly the vibes that I felt there. All right, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so turns out, and we got here, um, we being Alan and I, sup Alan, um, Christina's in the room, not feeling too good, so I, I found a friend to accompany me on my little adventure. And yeah, we got to the beach and it's really not that cute, it's not that pretty. 
Um, so yeah, but it's it's nice to walk along and there's some restaurants here. So if you just want to get a little water in, sure come here, but it's not like picturesque Ibiza beaches, um, even though the background here is so pretty. You get up close though, yikes. Um, so we only have a few, like we only have an hour and we gotta be back on a ship. So we're gonna start walking back and you know, take in the last little few scenes of Ibiza and hopefully on our way out, we'll get to catch the sunset because I hear that's the most beautiful thing here. So yeah, any, any remarks? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to give Ibiza a fair shake, and I will just say that on this day, we did not have time to get into Uber and take it to the other side of the island where a lot of the beautiful beaches and beach clubs are. So, my recommendation for your time in Ibiza is to reserve one of the excursions that will take you to a beach club or reserve one on your own, which might save you some money, and get up early and be able to spend the day there. I have seen so many beautiful ones that serve delicious food, great mimosas. Talamanca is not quite that, but it is beautiful to the locals as I could tell and a nice little escape for the day. One thing I learned about Ibiza is that you're gonna have to choose. Do you want to party all night long or do you want to hang on the beach all day long? Doing both is a death sentence <laughs> and I tried my best, but I'm definitely gonna have to come back here again. There's so much that I didn't get to see and experience. So far, I love Ibiza and I totally understand the hype. Last happy hour. I made it. Yes. Saying goodbye to the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna say goodbye to our friends and enjoy our last night on board. You get on the elevator. Okay. You have to twerk. Oh, when we go down. Going down or coming up? Go. Where are you going? Come back. Here. We said we're going on the elevator. Yes, you have to twerk. YouTube. Every time you're in the elevator, you're let's see you wave. Let's go. Yeah. time on our last happy hour god bless us not sick anymore i'm just drunk <laughs> shout out to wayne if you are on voyage uh, virgin voyages yeah. you have to look for wayne yes he is amazing great so guy. great great guy yes so um we're just having a time i'm so glad we're on the voyage i've met so many wonderful people i get emotional already i was like <laughs> i gotta go say bye to everybody yeah the last night you have to say bye to all the friends that you've met on your voyage no matter how many times you see them after you say bye if you gotta say bye 10 times before you disembark that's fine just make sure you say bye and hug a lot because these people might change your life oh our room is haunted by the way why so she went out i stayed in trying to feel better these closed on their own four times <gasps> i kid you not four times it just got dark and closed on their own wait oh, she's, talk she's talking about the curtains i'm so serious i was oh, here trying to enjoy the light and they it got dark and closed on their own four times i'm i'm not kidding though i'm so serious <gasps> I'm gonna put my room number right here so y'all can either, if you want the spooky room, this is the room we're in on like, Giant I don't Lady. understand, like, I had it completely open like this, and on its own, just... Ooh, oh no. 
it only happens if she in the room. So I don't know what she got going on. When I'm in the room, things are when I'm in the room, things are normal. <laughs> Break the TV. <laughs> let's, go, let's go out here. Let's do chit chat. Subscribers, dear subscribers, mom loves y'all. This has been the best cruise I've been on a long time, just because of how new everything is, the new experiences, the sailors on this cruise. Like everybody is so nice. I have legitimately made like some friends like I'm like I want to visit people in their home cities and towns and whatever like people have been so nice here like it's it's honestly been so good I I didn't know what to expect coming out to the Mediterranean I didn't know if I would find people that I vibed with I didn't know if I would find other Americans turns out a lot of us are out here so shout out to that and a lot of the Americans out here are from Atlanta like a good 30% of the Americans are from Atlanta like Shout out to ATL, but um, anyway, um, it's been great. Like everybody's so nice, and um, I wouldn't trade this voyage for the world. To everybody who I met on this cruise, if you're watching this video right now, you guys are fully best friends, like real life. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys again. The, the Virgin Voyagers, the sailors on this cruise line, are loyal. Um, after, you know, two years of cruising, like, I have met plenty of people who are working on, like, 20 cruises very soon. And it's only been two years. That's crazy. Um, if you're looking for a certain community and you feel like you've seen that community in this vlogs series, um, you're not wrong. Come. Be with your people. I really believe that this brand is, is cultivating a entire different like subgenre of travelers and as the brand grows as the years go by with the sailings like I do believe that I really will see the same people over and over again and I'm okay with that um I can't wait to see a lot of the people I met this week again so thank you virgin thank you god um, I feel like things that happen this week on this voyage will create a bigger future for me somehow, some way. I don't know yet, but I feel like um, this is a, uh, a canon event for your girl. So we're going to get ready for dinner. We have dinner in two hours, so we have plenty of time to get ready now. And um, we begin our goodbyes. Say this is the first dinner I'm not running to get dressed. Yeah. Because it's an 8.30 dinner. It's a yeah. late dinner. I, I have been planning dinner at like 6.45, 7, 7.15, 7.30. Nice. To be honest, I think that that is a great dinner time. So if you're wondering what time you should book dinner, it's probably going to be hard. But between 7 and 7.30, I think is the prime time. Because you won't miss shows that go on in the evening. Because you need to like a lot two hours for dinner here on Virgin. Um, so if you're trying to go to a 10 p.m. show, you, you go to eight o'clock dinner, you're gonna be running. Seven to seven thirty is the best time. But we've we've done all the shows by this point, so the last night you can definitely do a late dinner and you know parlay. It gives you time to pack before everything else goes on. Yeah, we gotta pack. Um, so yeah, late dinner. But we're gonna see our friends after and and party the night away and say our final goodbye. We said goodbye to our friends in Richard's rooftop. The, like the rock stars. Um, we'll we'll probably see a couple of them a couple more times, but uh, I hate saying goodbye on the last it's day of the crew. So different though, people like this one. I'm like, it's actually like sad. Like, oh yeah, it's so connected. I don't know if just, yeah, more connections yeah. for sure. Well, I don't know. And the last cruise we were on was only four days. This is Christina's first time doing a week. Ever. Yeah, and it and, and does change the game. Like, the way you connect with people is totally different. Like, it's like you've known them forever. Mm -hmm. And you will know them forever. Like, we will remain friends with, with people we've met this Oh, week, yeah, no, we're for going sure. to Vegas. Oh, yeah, we're going to we're Vegas. Going to Vegas. Irish and Ken, we're coming Stay for tuned. you. Stay tuned, next video. Stay tuned, Vacation Buzz is going to Vegas. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Because I got to see my niece and nephew now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. I've finally gotten used to looking out. 
Look at her, it guys. Took a, it took a week. Look at her on I the balcony. I wanted to enjoy the balcony so much more, but every time I looked, I was like, nope. Just like <laughs> ran back inside. No, no, I'm okay. Tonight we have dinner at the Wake, the onboard steakhouse. We're at the Wake for dinner on our last night. Christina's last restaurant she hasn't been to yet, so um, let's see how she likes it. Um, it's not a bad restaurant, but at the same time, um, I feel like it's, it doesn't live up to uh, the expectations all the time. So third time's a charm, fingers crossed. <laughs> I think you'll like it. No, looks wise, it's beautiful in here. Like, I was just thinking before we sat down, like, aesthetic, not food, which restaurants I like the most. So, I think this is taking number one for sure. I like this. Then, Razzle Dazzle. Then, uh, oh, Test Kitchen. Then, what's last? Pink Agave. Switch. Yeah, actually, yeah. So. And they're all beautiful places. No, they're all really pretty. So pretty. Now, I have been known to give some major criticism to the wake historically, mostly on the lack of seasoning on the food and the underwhelmingness that I got from it. However, on this visit to the wake, I can honestly. I can honestly say that a lot of changes have been made and I thoroughly enjoyed my visit this time. Clam chatter came. Christina said, it's cute. <laughs> I said, wait, the show's not over yet. <laughs> I was just like, that's not clam chowder. I know this place is different with the food. You don't know what to expect, but there was no type of liquid at all. And I'm just like, okay. Kenny said it was fire, so we'll see. Now, before I get too ahead of myself, we did have one little hiccup with our dinner food. Yes. The grits were hard. Like, it was a crispy ring around the actual, it, it was like this. There was like a crispy ring inside of it, and then it was like a cake getting into the grits. Like, it was so hard. Them grits behave like they started cooking them grits yesterday. They're very, very overcooked. So, maybe we're not messing with the shrimp and grits here at the week, but I will say the salmon is really good. 10 out of 10 there, like so far. Um, all my dishes have been good leading up to here. The shrimp and grits. So we ended the night in classic cruise fashion with some desserts at dinner, and then we headed off to have our final drinks. We had to clear out that bar tab with my favorite drink, the Golden Horizon. We took our drinks and we indulged in the ship under the stars, and the very last event involved making wishes unto the ocean and the stars. It was beautiful. We're saying goodbye to our room. Oh. This one. Been here for a week, so I don't know which way the galley is. Um, well, good morning. We are back in Barcelona, and we're headed to breakfast. One last time in the galley. Um, this is normally where I would end the vlog, but the trip is not over yet. We have one last excursion with Virgin before we hit it. So I'm gonna show you what that is. Uh, after we go grab some breakfast. Plus, French toast. Uh, not the hand. <laughs> off the boat and into our next and last destination with Virgin which is 
Siches. Siches is a little beach city um, about 30 minutes outside um, of where the port is. So this is how the excursion goes. For $85, um, they pick you up at the port and then bring you to Siches. You can do whatever, you can go to the beach, you can eat, you can shop in this little city or just find somewhere to relax. Uh, we will meet back at the bus at two o'clock and we will head to the airport and then drop us off there. Um, and that's it. So it's just a, uh, a scenic route to have an airport transfer from the port. And just, you know, if you have a late flight like we do, um, a way to just kind of eat up time and enjoy. So we're just going to walk around here and catch some of the sights. It is 10.42 a.m. right now. Um, so late morning. Um, we'll probably just find somewhere to sit and relax. We are still tired. Yeah, look. <laughs> Something to consider if you do want to do an excursion on your debark day. Like, you might be tired. Um, yeah. We're looking at these chairs right here. It was Sunday in Siches, and it was a lazy morning. Most of the locals were just enjoying their morning along the boardwalk. It was very quiet, and most of the city was in church. We enjoyed our time by relaxing on a bench and taking in the ocean and just breathing in the little last bit of the European air. After that, we headed over to Mont Roy Cafe and had a delicious breakfast. Those croissants were to die for. We explored a little bit more of the city center here. There was a lot of shopping, so we headed to some souvenir shops and we just admire the architecture and the homes and these tiny, tiny close streets. So as you might be able to see behind us, <laughs> crazy, <laughs> the sky is definitely about to open up. So I think we're going to find a way back to our bus a little early yeah. so we don't get caught in the storm because we have a, a like a 10 minute walk to the bus for sure. That's probably about how much time we have left because yeah because that that storm cloud is coming but the waves are coming heavy too. Yeah and the waves have changed directions. <laughs> All right but uh I think this is where we close the vlog. This is it. I think this is where the vacation comes to Aww. an end. We still have a ways to go. We still yeah. have a journey ahead of us. Definitely. Tonight we stop in Austria just to sleep and then we are on our flight back home to Atlanta. But I just want to take an opportunity to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. It's been amazing. Dream come true from start to finish. Thank you so much to Virgin who, um, you know, Did their thing. gave me this opportunity. <laughs> Um, to, to do this and share it with you guys. Um, as always, best friends, I'll see you again. And um, me too. <laughs> Don't forget to, uh, to tell a friend. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye. try European um, McDonald's because when I was a kid I loved it and I just wanted to see what they had and, and see what it tastes like and y'all yeah. let's just check out the what's new panel um guys guys whatever they got, they got a Caesar salad this she just wants I'm going to eat okay let's oops, oops. sorry I got too excited they got little donuts oh. Kit Kat oh pineapple pineapple that is not a dessert okay <laughs> What are these? Chicken Mc... Oh, you gotta get them. I can't eat them. You gotta get them. I might gotta... What is that? Share box? They wings? got wings? They got wings and chicken bites. Oh my God, what do we do? Cause now I gotta have everything. They boring, have boring, like, boring. No, go back down. Despacho. We can do like cheese fries with bacon. I'm sorry, wedge fries are an option? That's what I'm saying. They got wedge fries with cheese and bacon. This is crazy. They got an egg on the burger. That's crazy. What's going on with the burger? Oh my, whoa. What's this? Whoa. Is it like a Caesar salad on a 
on a no. fish? Is it, it looks fish? Like fish. No, it does look, it looks like the fish. Okay. No. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is a running to the bathroom. What? Wow. What are we, yeah, I'm, yeah, overwhelmed is what I would call myself right now. All right, let's go sides. This is your time. <laughs> oh, the McCafe. Oh. oh. I've, mm -hmm. What? Cheesecake. Oh. Strawberry cheesecake. Pop dot and small drink. What are those? Don't like chocolate filled donuts? <gasps> wow. A little pop dot. Wow. This is, whoa. Oh, so it's white chocolate and Nucilla, like Nutella? Macar wow. Wow. We're gonna find out. This? Yeah. Okay. Or it's about to be like $20. Um, oh, oh, oh we're, we're good. Okay. Beer. Let me make sure to tell you. Zero percent alcohol free. Wow. But that has water. Wow, it's wow. Gluten free beer. Let's go. Okay, we got the goods. We got. Oh. Yeah, this is not even ours either. We got a McFlurry. Yes. Um, she got those over there. Is this a, is this the right order? Did you get the chicken? Yeah. The bites are here. The wings are here. The fries are here. Bonus McFlurry. Yay! Thanks McDonald's, and I got a bonus tea too. Shout out to that. Um, anyhow, all this cost us. Um, about eleven dollars USD, uh, and it's the one I was gonna get. Time for the one time. <laughs> one last time. Oh, we're in Spain. <laughs> one more happy hour. Another. <laughs> See, we had to pay for this one. That's the problem, though. And just like that, best friends, that is a wrap on Vacation Vibes 2023. This year has had major ups and major downs, but I am just so happy to have you who have stuck with me through it all. I cannot wait to show you the adventures we'll be taking in 2024. But until then, I have a couple of gifts for you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.